Hi everyone, today I want to show you what is it like to live with a 32 by 9 screen. I have been using a triple monitor setup for the last decade and in the last six months I traded it for a 32 by 9 screen. It's a 49 inch Samsung G93 SC and basically I just want to show you what is it like to play games on it, what is it like to use it for productivity or office work or just general use of a screen this wide. For people who are shopping for a screen right now, I think it would be interesting to see how exactly exactly do you use a screen this wide. Basically, it replaces two screens. And the advantage of having a 32 by 9 screen instead of two screens is that you are able to use the area in the middle. You're able to play games as if you have three screens, but you avoid all the hassle of having three screens. You're able to use software to split into three parts, use it as if you have three screens, only each one is a little bit less wide. Now let's play some games and later I'll show you what it's like to just use the daily. Right, so let's check out Cyberpunk. So this game actually works very well in 32 by 9. The only thing I have to do is fix the HDR here every time I start the game. Not a big deal. As you can see, the HUD is actually constrained within the screen, right? It's constrained in the middle. You can actually adjust the HUD here. HUD save zone, right? So you can change it here. And this is a great example of a game that works great because you need basically horizontal plus for the game itself and you want to be able to adjust the HUD so that you don't need to look left and right to be able to see it. And the game looks great, it runs well, I'm getting around 60 to 80 FPS. Basically 32 by 9 is 0.89 times 4K, so it's a little bit less than 4K, so with a screen like this, which is 2 times 1440p, it's actually gonna run pretty well. Like, it's gonna run a little bit faster than 4K, and you have this massive screen. Obviously, you don't have the same density of pixels. Honestly, sitting about an arm's length away from it, I don't think it's something that you really notice. Okay, so now we're used to, a little bit used to the 32 by 9 view. Let's switch to what it looks like in 16 by 9. Okay, so 2560 by 1440. So with a 27 inch 1440p screen, this is exactly what it's going to look like. And as you can see, it's, I mean, it's all right. It's not, it's not that bad, but the screen is just a lot smaller and it's a lot less immersive. If you can afford a screen that's 4K 32 inches, I think for a PC screen, that's a screen that a 49 inch 32 by 9 screen competes against. You want something bigger than 27 inches. So I think 27 inches screen is a little bit small uh, versus the other options you have, unless you get a TV or something. But uh, I mean, that, that, that comes with its own set of problems. Overall, I think 32 inch 16 by 9 4K versus 49 inch 32 by 9, it's a question of what do you want? Do you want a 4K screen, denser pixels, higher resolution, or you want a screen that you can actually use as if you're kind of using three screens? All right, let's switch back to 32 by 9. 5120 by 1440. One important thing is the FOV. I put the FOV to here, yeah, 95, right? So usually I increase the FOV a little bit to be able to see more on the screen. Otherwise it's like appears too zoomed in. So yeah, the FOV is 95 here. And I, 16 by now I probably still play with 95. So basically, yeah, this is the example of a, a 30 by nine game is working great in the super ultra wide and runs well, no issues here. But this is, a, you know, this is a modern game, right? So now let's see what you need to do in order to get a game to work on a screen like this. But if the game is not recent, all right, GTA 5. So one catch with the fix is that I actually have to run the game in borderless, otherwise it doesn't work. So I guess you lose a little bit of performance this way, but I'm still getting around 80 fps which is reasonable so the fix as you can see fixes the hud obviously the fov horizontal plus scaling and it works all right i mean it's uh you know like this is one example of an old, older game that people still play and um you know it was a very popular game back in the day so if you haven't played gta 5 then you are able to play it in 32 by 9 without major issues everything looks good here just to recap the fixes is flawless widescreen with the latest 
update, which is from 2020, and you need to put it in borderless, and then that works. And obviously, make all the adjustments, so FOV and stuff, so it looks good to you. But overall, like, no major issues after the fix, but the game doesn't look good at all if you don't have the fix. So if you don't have the fix, let's see it. Basically, if I switch it to full screen, as you can see, it looks really messed up. Like, it is, I wouldn't play like this. Although the HUD is still fitting, but the FOV is all messed up, and yeah, like, this is not worth it, right? I mean, the FOV is your choice. Like, mine is, as you can see, it's set pretty wide, and, uh, you know, I adjust it to your taste. I'm flying playing like this. I try to be able to see more here. So yeah, no major issues here. Everything looks good. The game, you know, it's an older game, so the graphics are obviously not as good as Cyberpunk 2077, but all with all the fixes, looks fine, runs pretty well, and definitely very playable. And just compare, what does it look like uh, if you switch the settings? So a regular 1440p, it's okay, but definitely not nearly as immersive, right? Let's switch back to 32 by 9. There we go. And also uh, here I'm running RTX HDR. Looks all right. Like, I mean, it's RTX HDR is decent. Usually in most cases, the in-game HDR is better. But uh, if, it, if there's no in-game HDR, I think RTX HDR works better than the Windows H Auto HDR. So another game actually that works very well and came out in 2016, this version is, I think, 2021, is Hitman World of Assassination. And this game actually works. It looks good, works well, really no issues, no fixes needed. And I think Super Ultra Wide gives it a really awesome look. So here the FOV is great. I don't need to make any changes. I think this is perfect. And yeah, the game looks nice. Like my HDR doesn't work well with the in-game HDR. I don't know why it's not the fault of the screen, but I have RTX HDR on here and everything looks awesome. And uh, you can really see the benefit of having 32 by 9 over 16 by 9. So if we switch to 16 by 9, not nearly as good looking as 32 by 9. If you're playing on a TV, yeah, that's different. And you have your like a big TV. Yeah, that's good. On a, just a 27 inch 1440p screen, this is, this is okay right but 32 by 9 really shines here right let's switch back this is great like no distortion everything looks correct everything is really you know like you're focusing in the middle of the screen and it just makes it like very very immersive very beautiful game to play in 32 by 9 so yeah as you can see here this looks really good in 32 by 9 not a lot of distortion on the sides and it just like gives you like a really nice wide field of view obviously and i think this game is just a pleasure to play like if you're gonna get a 32 by 9 screen and you like games like this definitely check it out if you're playing it already you will benefit quite a bit from switching to 32 by 9 let's see what uh 16 by 9 looks like in comparison so this is what it looked like on the regular 27 inch 1440p screen okay but i just think 32 by 9 super ultra wide adds so much more to the immersion and it just feels so much better to play it like that that there's really no comparison here the entire purpose of this video is to show you what it looks like to play a game in 32 by 9 when it works well and i think this is a great example because this game just looks awesome right as you can see 16 by 9 like it's uh, it's reasonable maybe on the tv it'll be okay but if you switch to super ultra wide basically your awareness of what's going on around you is significantly increased from playing the game at 16 by 9 you just can see so much more you really feel like you're in the game itself versus just playing game hitman is a great example of where a game like just shines and just works perfectly like i have zero issues with it although yeah fine the hud it's on the sides the good thing about 32 by 9 versus triple monitor triple 27 inch 1440p like I had in the past is that okay like even if the HUD doesn't fit it still doesn't really affect you in an extremely bad way because you can still see reasonably well like you don't need to like turn your head that much like I you know like I can glance at the minimap without turning my head so even though the HUD doesn't fit perfectly like in Cyberpunk it's all right like it's uh it doesn't break the game for me right but on triple screens it's a completely different story it's 
so wide that the HUD really affects you a lot. So I'd say that's the main disadvantage of triple monitor. Just talking about how the games play, because like, let's be honest, in modern games usually works well, but it's not guaranteed that you'll have proper HUD placement, right? It might be a horizontal plus and it might look good, but it's not guaranteed that, oh, like in every single game the HUD will fit well. So in 32 by 9, since it's only two times 1440p it's it's not a big issue honestly like even if though the hud doesn't fit in the game like hitman you can play without a hud completely and it's gonna you're gonna be all right like i personally play with a hud it's not a game breaking deal any day of the week i will pick 32 by 9 over 16 by 9 for this game so one more thing that i want to show you is what is it like to watch a movie on a screen like this so i'm using mpcbe which is media player classic black edition as you can see if you just open a blu-ray it's not gonna fit perfectly on the screen right not like with the default settings but in media player classic you can actually zoom in and expand it over the screen so if i just zoom in i can adjust it there we go perfect the thing about like these movies is uh they're not 16 by 9 so they're not 1.78 to 1 they are actually usually 2.35 2.39 to 1 so if you want to watch a movie the entire size of the screen is actually much bigger because you can stretch it out like this and it fits perfectly it's just much bigger like this is another like big big advantage of a 32 by 9 screen over a 16 by 9 it just looks awesome very immersive you don't have to sit super close to the screen you can sit a little bit further and still watch it properly so now let's check out some productivity applications here with the 32 by 9 screen you actually need an add-in for your pc so the add-in is called power toys microsoft makes it it's a native microsoft product and what you're interested in is fancy zones so fancy zones allows you to split your screen into three columns that's what i personally use because this way i can kind of replicate triple monitor setup and it's actually very very easy to use the only thing i need to do in order to place a window on one of the three screens is hold shift then this blue box appears and then i can place it you know, I can place it over here, place it over here, place it over here, and so on. This is my usual setup. I place YouTube on the right screen. I use this uh, Maximize HTML Flash video uh, extension in order to maximize it, right? So I can watch a video on the right side, place another window in the middle, whatever I'm doing, maybe chat GPT or read me some news or whatever. And also I have some trading charts, maybe like one chart on the left side. And basically this way I can watch a video without any issues and do something else at the same time. And I find that this using daily works great. Like, uh, I really love it. So you're able to play games. You're able to use it for productivity with just installing Power Toys. If we want to talk about some annoyances, a pretty minor thing. Let's say if I close Trading View right now, open it again. Okay, so with Fancy Zones, it's not perfect. It, it uh, doesn't remember where each window is. It opens properly, but it doesn't open every single window at the same time so i just need to click on it again and then it remembers where each window was and it opens fine if you're using resolve or photoshop it works very well too so if you maximize it like this i mean i guess you can use it but i don't find it very useful this way so what i do is actually hold shift and make it fit in the middle column and then it looks good and same thing with photoshop photoshop doesn't have any issues either everything is good here for productivity 30 by 9 is very good I find that it's convenient. Sometimes there might be like very small annoyances, but there is way more annoyances with three screens. So let's discuss the pros and cons of 16 by nine, 32 by nine, and triple 16 by 9. In the 16 by 9, you have one screen, maybe a 27 inch or a 32 inch 4K, and it works well, but you can only do one thing on the screen at a time, right? So if you want to do multiple things, like I showed earlier, I can't do the same thing easily on a 32 inch 4K screen. You can break it up in three columns with fancy zones like I'm doing here, where you're stuck with a 32 inch screen instead of a 49 inch screen. For 
triple 16 by 9 it's good triple 27 inch 16 by 9 honestly it's really wide it's massive you need to turn your head and overall yeah you have like great screen real estate and many people will consider it to be like the perfect setup but for playing games less games work in triple 16 by 9 than 32 by 9 single screen you have to connect three monitors to the video card in order to have a game run on three screens at the same time unless it's a game that explicitly supports three screens like i think i racing can support it and maybe microsoft flight simulator it's not gonna work and those games are extremely rare it's probably just a handful of games maybe like five or ten games and that's it so when you're using triple monitor setup for both productivity and gaming you have to use nvidia surround and nvidia surround it works well for what it is but overall it's not the same as having one screen plugged into the video card you still have three screens plugged into the video card you can have bugs sometimes it doesn't turn on properly i mean in every single game on my previous setup with triple 16 by 9 it actually never worked properly always one screen just v-sync wouldn't work on one screen it would cut off like half of the screen it would just like have you know this frame cutting off you're focusing on the middle screen it's not the end of the world once you start noticing it it can become distracting and honestly i have spent so long just setting up every single game not even with the hacks the hacks is not a big deal like the the hacks that some games need okay whatever like it, it it's a few minutes set it up it works great the main issue here is that either switch from regular triple screen to nvidia videos around and fake the three screens every time i had to do that there's a risk that it's not gonna work and then i cannot turn it on then i have to restart my pc and in the end it was just like it became a nightmare and they also like just switching from nvidia surround to regular triple monitor it can take a while like it's just every single interaction with the nvidia control panel can take a while to just load and it was like it was a big annoyance it was a big waste of time so yeah i mean like fancy zones in 32 by 9 versus triple 16 by 9 i'll go with 32 by 9 with fancy zones any day of the week and just like one last thing is honestly you know 32 by 9 double 1440p is just easier to work with like you don't need to turn your head that much you don't have bezels in the middle of the screen like i had in the past even though that i picked screens with very thin bezels maybe seven millimeter bezels you still notice them and um, it's just way better with 32 by 9 easier to run games as well because uh, triple 1440p is 1.35 times 4k so you need an even faster pc faster video card in order to be able to process it for not much gain it's already really 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 good with 32 by 9 and as you saw earlier in the video oh yeah one last thing with a 32 by 9 screen you actually need a really big desk my desk is six foot wide it can fit you know like my screen and uh, like mouse keyboard everything else i also have some tablets on my screen for trading but basically yeah like you need space for a 49 inch screen in your room so so if your room is small, if your desk is small, then 32 by 9 might not be the best choice for you. But if you have the room for it, there is really nothing like it. And I think it's the best. Anyway, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Take care.